Welcome to The Lazy Mathematician. Today's lesson is Divisibility Rules. The rules of divisibility can help you in finding factors. These rules can help us to determine what number is divisible into another number. How do we know if a number is divisible by 2? It's very simple. You just ask yourself, is that number an even number. If it is, then that number is divisible by 2. How do we determine if a number is e an even number or not? You look at the last digit. If the last digit ends in 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8, then we know it's an even number. Sixty-four is divisible by two because sixty-four is an even number. How do I know? I look at that last digit. That last digit lets me know that sixty-four is an even number. One hundred and twenty-eight is also divisible by two because if I look at the last digit, that tells me that one hundred twenty-eight is an even number. Two divides evenly into one twenty-eight. 107 is not divisible by 2 because that last digit tells me that it, it, that number is not an even number. It's an odd number. 2 is only divisible into even numbers. What's great about the rules of divisibility is that you can determine whether 2 is div or certain numbers are divisible into very large numbers. Here's a very large number. one million three hundred ninety five thousand seven hundred sixty six I know that two is divisible into that number because I just look at that last digit and it tells me that it is an even number let's now take a look at the number three how do we know if a large number is divisible by three well there's a handy little shortcut that you can use to determine whether any number is divisible by three no matter how large it is Let's take a look at a number like this, 117. How do I know if 3 divides evenly into 117? It's not, uh, ob it's not uh, readily obvious at the moment. Well, it's a very simple trick. What you need to do is you need to add up all the digits that are in that number. So if I add up 1 plus 1 plus 7, I get 9. And then I ask myself, does 3 divide evenly into 9? In this case, yes, it does. So because 3 divides evenly into the number, the sum of the digits, then it will divide evenly into 117. Let's apply this rule into a very large number. Here we have 560,121. Once again, if I add up all the digits. 5 plus 6 is 11, plus 0 is 11, plus 1 is 12, plus 2 is 14, plus 1 is 15. I get the sum of the digits being 15. And 3 divides into 15. So 3 will divide into 560,121. So how do we know if a number is now divisible by 4? Well, what we have to do now is we have to look at the last two digits of that number. If the last two digits are divisible by 4, then that entire number will be divisible by 4. Let's take a look at this very large number, 738,312. How do I know that 4 can divide evenly into this big number without using a calculator? Well, I take a look at the last two digits. Last two digits are 12. Does 4 go into 12? Yes, it does. So because 4 goes into 12, 4 will go into the entire number. 4 is divisible into 738,312. Let's take a look at another big number, 4,840,000. 445. I want to see if 4 is divisible into this number. So once again, I look at the last two digits. 
I have 45. 4 does not divide evenly into 45, so 4 will not divide evenly into this large number. So what is the divisibility rule for the number 5? 5, like 2, is one of the easiest rules to remember. You just have to ask yourself, does the number end in either a 0 or a 5? If it does, then that entire number will be divisible by 5. Look at this number, 3875. I want to determine if 5 is divisible into this number, so I look at the last digit. Does it end in a 5 or a 0? Yes, it does. So, this number, 3875, is divisible by 5. Look at this number, 43,280. This number is also divisible by 5. Why? Because the last digit is a 0. And remember, our rule for 5 is does it end in a 0 or a 5? The number 559 is not divisible by 5 because, if you look at the last digit, it doesn't end in a 0 or a 5. So therefore, this number is not divisible by 5. So what is the rule for 6? Well, in order for a number to be divisible by 6, that number has to be divisible by 2 and also by 3. Let me repeat that. In order for a number to be divisible by 6, that number has to be divisible by 2 and also divisible by 3. Let's take a look at this number, 438. And so I want to know if it's divisible by 6. Well, I first ask myself, is it divisible by 2? And the rule for 2 is, is it an even number? And yes, it is an even number, so we know that, yes, this number is divisible by 2. We also, in order for it to be divisible by 6, it has to be divisible not only by 2, but also by 3. And if you recall, the rule for 3 is we have to add up all the digits. So in this case, 4 plus 3 is 7, plus 8 is 15. And then we ask ourselves, does 3 divide evenly into 15? And yes, it does. So, not only is this number divisible by 2, not only is it divisible by 3, but it is divisible by 6. Look at this number, 734. So we want to know if 6 can divide evenly into this. So let's start off and ask ourselves, does it, is it divisible by 2? Well, it's an even, even number, so yes, it is divisible by 2. Is it divisible by 3? Well, if we add up our digits, 7 plus 3 is 10, plus 4 is 14, and no, 3 does not go into 14, 3 does not go into 734, so it is not divisible by 6. Because it is only divisible by 2 and not by 3, we say it is not divisible by 6. Let's now take a look at the divisibility rule for the number 8. Now, 8 is not as straightforward or not as easy to determine as uh, other numbers. 8 is kind of like the rule for 4. Uh, if you recall, the rule for 4 stated that you had to look at the last two digits, and if it was divisible by 4, it would be div the whole number would be divisible by 4. Well, it's the same with the number 8. You must look at the last three digits of that number if it's divisible by, if the last three digits divisible by 8, then the entire number will be divisible by 8. Let's take a look at this number, 4,800. I look at the last three digits, and they form the number 800. Does 8 go into 800? Yes, it does. So, 8 will go into 4,800. Let's take a look at this next number, 37,112. We want to find out if 8 divides evenly into this large number. So we look at the last three digits, and it forms the number 112. Now, it doesn't appear obvious whether 8 divides evenly into 112, so we're going to have to do a little bit of math. We need to divide the number 8 into 112. 
8 doesn't go into 1, but 8 goes into 11 one time. I put down the 8, and I subtract, and that gives me a 3. Bring down the 2, how many times does 8 go into 32? 4 times. And 4 times 8 is 32, with 0 remainder. So yes, 8 divides evenly into 112, so guess what? 8 will divide evenly into 37,112. Let's take a look at a number like 27,088. We look at the last three digits, and the last three digits, 0, 8, 8, give us the number 88. Does 8 go into 88? Yes, it does. So 8 will divide evenly into 27,088. Let's now look at the divisibility rule for the number 9. 9 is very similar to 3. If you recall 3, we would add up all the digits, and the sum of the digits, if they're divisible by 3, then the entire number is divisible by 3. Well, 9 works the same way. We add up all the digits. If the sum equals a number that is divisible by 9, then the entire number will be divisible by 9. Let's take a look at this number, 115,380. So what I do, I want to see if this number is divisible by 9. I add up all the digits. So 1 plus 1 is 2, plus 5 is 7, plus 3 is 10, plus 8 is 18, plus 0 is 18. Does 9 go into 18? Yes, it does. So. 9 will also go into this large number, 115,380. Does 9 go into this number, 1,999? Well, let's add up all the digits. 1 plus 9 is 10, plus 9 is 19, plus 9 is 28. And we ask ourselves, does 9 go into 28? No, it doesn't. So because 9 does not go into the sum of the digits, 9 will not divide evenly into 1,999. 10 is perhaps the easiest number to remember the rule for. And it's quite simple. All you have to do to see if a number is divisible by 10 is look at its last digit. Does the number end in a 0? If it does, then you know that number is divisible by 10. Take a look at the numbers on the left. All these numbers end in a 0, so they are all divisible by 10 because they end in 0. Take a look at the numbers on the right. None of them end in 0, so none of them are divisible by 10. You may have noticed that I have skipped over the number 7. Does 7 have a rule? Well, there is a divisibility rule for 7. It's a little bit complicated, and me being the lazy mathematician, I chose not to include it here. However, you can search the web to find out the rule for 7.